Today we are going to talk about solving equations. Before we do that, I would like to review a couple of vocabulary words. The first one is solve. When we solve, we are finding the unknown value. So um, in our equations, um, when we have a variable, we are trying to solve to find what that variable is, what that value of the variable is. An equation is two expressions that are equal to each other. So remember, an expression is like five plus five um, without an equal sign. Um, an equation has two expressions that are equal to each other. So here in this one, we don't know what X is, but we would solve to find X to make this statement true. Then we have the word solution, and that is the value that makes the statement true. So for example, where we have X plus seven equals 10, the solution is X equals three, because X equals three. If three is equal to X, then that would make this equation true. When we are solving equations, there are several steps that we need to follow. But first, let's talk about the goal. Our goal in solving equations is to isolate the variable. Our goal is to isolate the variable. What is our goal? To isolate the variable. We do that by starting off with a box. We box our variable and draw a line down from the equal sign. That uh, line from the equal sign is there to show balance. Think of it like a balance beam. Um, that line shows that whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. We then ask ourselves, how can I isolate the variable? How can I get that variable by itself? We use inverse operations to isolate our variable and get rid of one of the terms on um, one side. Inverse operations. To inverse an operation, if we have addition, we would subtract to inverse that addition. And to, if we have subtraction, to inverse it, to get rid of it, to um, equal it out, we would add. Super important to remember step three, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side, keeping everything balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you've got to do the other side. And that, e that line down from the equal sign will help you remind you to do that. And then lastly, we substitute our uh, solution into our original equation to make sure that our answer is correct. So let's go ahead and try a couple of examples. Let's start here. X plus four equals negative six. So my very first step is to box my variable. I will box my X. That is not going to move. Okay, I draw my line down from my equal sign, showing me balance. Whatever I do on this side, I must do on this side. Step number two asked us, told us to ask ourselves how to isolate a variable. We do that by using inverse operations. What operation do we see here? Well, we see addition. So to inverse that, I use subtraction. If I have four and I want to get rid of that four, rearrange that four, I need to subtract four. So I'm gonna subtract four here because plus four minus four gets me zero. But whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side, meaning I have to subtract 4 over here. I bring down my X. It can come out of the box now. And over here, I've got an expression to evaluate. Negative 6 minus 4. 
Well, I can take that and say negative 6 plus negative 4, leaving me with negative 10. This is my solution. I just solved to find that my solution is x equals negative 10. Now I check my answer by rewriting my equation and plugging that solution in for x. So I take that negative 10 and I check my work. Well, let's do the math. Does negative 10 plus 4 equal negative 6? Negative 10 plus positive 4 does equal negative 6. So my, my solution is correct. This is my correct solution. We do want to make sure we check our work. This is the evidence proving that we have correctly solved our um, for our x. Now, um, if we were to get something different here, let's say we accidentally um, got a different number, negative 8 or something like that, um, that would mean we need to go back through and check our work again. Try again. All right, let's try another example here. We've got uh, x minus 5 equals negative 3. So again, I start by boxing and drawing my line. Step 2 asks me to isolate my um, variable, so get that x by itself. And I ask myself how that's done. Um, I use inverse operations. So I take a look here and ask myself what operation is occurring. And there is a subtraction sign. So to inverse that, I add 5. Because I add 5 on this side, I will also add 5 on this side. These cancel out. I'm left with only x on this side. Now I have negative 3 plus 5. Knowing my integer rules, that gets me 2, a solution of 2. But I'm going to take that 2 in step number 4 and check my work. 2 minus 5 equals negative 3. 2 plus Negative 5 equals negative 3. Negative 3 equals negative 3. Check. My solution is good. All right. Let's try um, two more problems together. Let's try this one. If I have negative 4 plus x equals 9... I'm going to start by boxing my variable. Oh, excuse me. This is a plus sign. Negative 4 plus x equals 9. And then draw my line. Step 2, I need to ask myself how I'm going to isolate those vari that variable. Now, this one's a little tricky. What do I have here? I have negative 4. So how do I inverse that? How do I get negative 4 to 0? Well, I add 4. Because I add 4 on this side, I also need to add 4 on this side. My negative 4 and positive 4 cancel out, and I'm left with x equals 9 plus 4 is 13. Step number four is to check my work. Where do I plug that 13 into? Negative 4 plus 13 equals 9. 9 equals 9. So check. My solution is correct. Last one. If I have x plus negative 8 equals 12. Can you solve for x for me? Solve this equation and type your answer in the box. Well, 
same way that we've done it every other time, but this time I'm going to subtract negative 8. If I have 12 minus negative 8, that leaves me with x equals 20. And then I would plug my 20 in. 12 equals 12. I've done it correctly.